<laughs> All right, we will go ahead and get started. Arena, welcome back to Montreal. Can you just give us your thoughts about playing here this year? Yeah, I'm just happy to be back. A lot of good memories from Montreal and just can't wait to start playing here. Uh, Arena, I know sometimes you take the losses kind of tough. Uh, how long did it take you to get over the Wimbledon loss? Uh, and where's your mindset right now? Uh, new tournament, fresh start, hard courts. Well, yeah, it's, it's, it was a little while to recover, um, to recover after the tough loss. But um, um, I don't know. Um, I had a few days off. Then I um, I did a good preparation before hard court season. So um, I feel good right now, I'm ready to go physically, mentally. Um, I feel really good. Next question, Courtney. Irina, uh, yeah. good to see you again. Uh, just in terms of your takeaways from Roland Garros and Wimbledon, obviously great runs to get great results to get to the semifinals, tough ones once you got there. But what were your learnings, I guess? What did you take away from those two events? Um, it's, um, it's tough to kind of like uh, put it all together right now. Uh, but um, I guess on those important points, I don't have to go. Um, it's it's easy, but it's not easy. <laughs> I just I don't have to go to the big targets. Don't have to rush things. I just have to. Um, I just have to stay aggressive, uh, go for bigger uh, targets, and put uh, put all the pressure on the opponents um, instead of like thinking that it's, that pressure is on me, you know, um, and just stop thinking about the semifinals. <laughs> <laughs> if if that's possible, you know. <laughs> Next question, up front here. Yes. Yes. Hi. I was just wondering, could you explain to us how you manage the transitions during the season, uh, m moving from one surface to the next one, from one phase of the season to the next one? Like, uh, we stopped playing yeah. in Europe, and now there was a, there was a kind of a break, a possible break between Europe and, and North America. How do you usually manage these? parts of the season, how long does it take you to get used to the new conditions? Sure. Yeah. Mm. Well, before I used to play, I would say like everything. I uh, didn't think about preparation, taking a little time to kind of adjust to the surface, to find the game rhythm and everything. And right now, like after each block, like after hard court, I'm taking like a few weeks to prepare myself for the uh, clay court um, um, and the same with each surface. So, and um, I would say that after each kind of like, uh, yeah, after each, yeah, I, I, I'm having like few days off. Uh, you know, it's all about the good recovery and like a good preparation and not, not like rushing things, you know. Um, so yeah, after Wimbledon, I had, uh, I don't know how many days off just to switch off from tennis. Uh, and then, um, yeah, I had uh, two and a half or something uh, weeks of uh, preparation. Like, uh, and yeah, I start from Montreal before probably I would go for, to Washington uh, without being ready to play, you know, right now, like I'm not rushing things and I think it's working really well for me. So I'm ready for each surface to show my best tennis. Next question. Any other questions, Courtney? Irina, in terms of that transition and everything, what is, is there anything specifically challenging about this section of the season? So Canada into Cincinnati, into the US Open, like what makes this swing unique? if it is at all, compared to grass, clay, spring hard courts, start of the season? Is it the same? Uh, I don't know. I think it is the same, but it's different. <laughs> I don't know. Energy everywhere is so different. And because we're like, we're playing in a different part of the world, we feel it's differently. And like, um, it's just different atmosphere here, you know, compared to Europe or compared to um, where, el where else we're playing. <laughs> <laughs> Compared to Australia, Doha, Dubai, you know, it's just different and it's nice to be back, you know. I don't know. <laughs> Question here and then here. 
Uh, Arena, I wanted to ask you about doubles a little bit. I know you haven't played doubles for quite some time. You played lots, so you won some titles. Um, there's still a lot of players who are playing doubles, uh, a lot of high-level players, uh, Pagula, yeah. Goff, so forth. What is the difficulty with playing both? And what do you, I mean, obviously it's worked out for you not playing doubles now, but can you just describe how difficult it is to play both and would you consider doing it again? Um, well, it's really difficult and um, again, like for me, it, it works well, but my singles wasn't that good, you know, in that period when I played doubles, because if you want to play good in doubles, you also spend a lot of energy there and it's different energy. And I would say sometimes it's even more intense, you know, there. And then like after doubles, like you play like evening match doubles and then on the next day you play singles and you're spending so much uh, energy and you have to be really physically really strong mentally really tough so you're like not dis not get distracted by doubles or singles because sometimes you can lose the match in doubles and then you and you still set and mad and um whatever you're feeling and then on the next day you play singles and you have to like switch these emotions so that for me that was really tough and i decided for myself that you you just have to pick one you know you can be the best in each Probably you can, but then you, you can, I feel like you're getting more injured because it's still so much energy. And I really, I respect uh, Pegula and God that they're doing good in both. But I think that's like, to, to get to the next step in singles, you have to, um, yeah, you have to cut doubles, I think, a little bit. Question right here. Hello. Um, I would like to have your views on the return of Caroline Wozniacki. Um, how inspiring is this for you? And does it make you realize that, hey, maybe we can have a life and play tennis too? Yeah, that's really inspiring a lot. And that's, uh, I was I was surprised and, and, and super happy at the same time because I thought like, okay, so she, <laughs> yes, as you said, you, you can have your private life, you have you can have kids and still come back in tennis, which is unbelievable and very important for all of us, you know, because um, this is really tough to um, to kind of like don't have this life and uh, uh, you sacrifice a little bit, not a little bit, a lot. So, and, and have knowing and have these examples of people who um, who did it and come back and there is the way, it's, uh, it's really inspiring and, um, I don't know, I'm really, um, yeah, I'm impressed what they're doing. Last two questions here, engineering. Uh, it's uh, the last time uh, that the woman will play the tournament in Montreal in the span of uh, only seven days. In the future, it will be uh, over the course of uh, 10 days. What's the difference will it be for the players? I, I suppose that you prefer when it's over a, a longer uh, pace for, for the, the rest and, and, and everything, but what's the biggest difference and what type of tournament do you prefer? Of, for, uh, of, a format? Um, I would say, um, it's a tough question, but I would say I prefer when it's a little bit longer because then it's, I think it's better for our health and uh, like physically it's better. You have an extra day for recovery, um, for preparation. Um, yeah, I think it's, I like that this format better. Last question, Courtney. Yeah, just on that question about Caroline. Uh, what do you think she's coming back to in terms of, you know, she retired three years ago and the game was where it was three years ago. You were where you were three years ago. Now, you know, it's it seems different. It seems elevated. But do you think, like, what is the landscape kind of of where the sport is in terms of the the quality, I guess? What is she kind of walking into, do you think? Well, I saw her practicing a little bit, and I and I think she she still ha she still has this uh, quality, and uh, she's moving well. Looks she's looking really fit and 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 st and strong. And her her game always was really tough to play against because she was moving well, she was putting the ball in the right uh, target, so she she she, she knew how to. Um, how to put you in in uh, in uncomfortable position so and I mean tennis yeah I think it's 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 changed a little bit it's getting a little bit more um, it's uh, faster you know like the speed is uh, um, I think it's going h higher and then and, and everything everyone is getting stronger so um, yeah I'm wondering how she's gonna deal with that right now but I think she got everything to come back all right, we'll leave it there. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.